Okay, now we're going to, uh, we're tapping in. They just put these bearings in, in the one half of the wheel. Okay, we just built us a little bolt. Show us what you built there, Mike. It's just a bolt. Um, no, on this uh, it's just a bolt. attachment tool. We just put a bolt inside so that you're pounding on the outside of the race. Show them on a bearing, will you? So you're pounding on the outside, you're not pounding on the bearing itself. And that way we just build a little uh, race deal. Okay, now you're ready to it's install. To and you up. just put a flat iron and clamped it to the bench. And you lay the wheel upside down. Now we're gonna put a rubber in. Now you gotta look the egg just slightly, so always look for the tight spot. Tight spot's right here. Okay. Pull it away. Start right off the edge of that tight spot. Okay. Mike's putting a mohawk together here. Same as we did with the zippers. He's finding the, the tightest spot on the ring. Okay, so he pulls it apart and he starts right there putting these rubber around on it. And when he gets about halfway, he's got to pry it over a little bit. So that, that rubber will go down in there. This is going to keep that wheel from turning, uh, the ring from turning on the plastic wheel. Both are a slick object, and if you don't have this rubber in there, they'll start eventually turning in the wheel, and then they cause problems. Now you can't turn that in that wheel. There's no, it won't let you turn it. So now we're ready to put the top on. Okay, got her. He's got a butterfly tool here that's uh, set on about four or five on the tightness. He has these butterfly wrench set on about four or five. Now he's going to go around it once more to be sure everything touch him good. With that little uh, whiz nut, uh, it just puts it just bites into that plastic. Then we have our one inch uh, long uh, hex headed uh, quarter inch bolt. Don't matter on the mohawk, you can switch the mohawk around, uh, go right to left, as long as uh, the spokes are coming out of the ground and releasing the soil. This would be if the wheel was going, going this direction, there it's releasing the soil. Bring it over here on the other side. We gotta flip it over. Okay, now this is going the right direction. They're both, as they come out of the ground, they're releasing that soil. We're doing about the same as we do on the um, two and a half inches apart from the center of the ring out Right here, center of the rim over to the center of the rim is two and a half inches right down at the bottom, bottom of the wheel, okay, between them. Okay, now, as these wheels are going around, they're releasing that soil. They're in at the five, six, and seven o'clock positions, and then as they exit, they leave that soil compacted, not like a straight finger that rooster tails the soil up out behind. Uh, this will leave it compacted over the seed. The, the mohawk wheels, you can um, switch from side to side. Um, you can put the right one on the left side and the left one on the right side because there's no direction. Uh, the only thing you got to do is keep this 
so that they're releasing that soil as they come out of the ground on both sides. They're releasing the soil 